Okay, I don't want to make light of this kind of thing, but what if I told you that I had a video of cops pulling some poor dude out of his car with, in front of his kids and then tasering his nutsack all on video? I mean, what would you say? Would you say, no? I mean, how could they be that fucking stupid to actually look at their chest and realize that there's a camera sitting there, but then they're going to go on ahead and taser the guy's fucking nuts? I mean, I don't understand. Just tasering the guy anywhere is good enough. I mean, he was already screaming in pain, screaming in terror, I can't breathe, I can't breathe, all this other kind of shit. I mean... It's amazing this did not make national news coverage. I mean, I've literally found it on maybe five or six separate very small news organizations, and I think two or three of those links belong to a YouTube uh, account, which doesn't really have that many people on it, to be honest, when you think about how many people there are that get reached by some of the larger news organizations. But there was uh, this dude, and... He was caught doing uh, absolutely nothing. His name was Johnny Wheatcroft. And he, he... The cops at first said that he looked suspicious backing up into, his, into the parking spot. For one, though, he wasn't driving. So the fact that he was the one that looked suspicious is really strange. And they walk over to the guy... And they pretty much just ask him for his ID, and he's just curious, like, what the hell is going on? Why do you want my ID for? I mean, there's, there's, you know, I'm not doing anything wrong. And then the guy, the cop just pretty much goes a thousand. I, I did post earlier the, uh, the entire 45-minute video, so if you wanted to watch the entire video, you can watch it. But this was just, like, like the small portion of the video where the guy gets, you know, zapped. So this is the video. Hold on. In handcuffs right now. Make sure nobody touches that. He got he got hit a couple times, so where's Mark? Yeah. Don't worry about the probes. We're good so far. Let's get him out. Get him stand up. Keep, shut up. Shut up. You're fine. No, you haven't checked on me. The problems are in chase. Listen to me. I have pneumonia, Bob. I really haven't checked on me. I'm having pets. Okay, well, you should have been stupid then. I wasn't trying. Watch your hand. I have pneumonia. He's got one right there. Hey, Bill. Right here. 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 Right yeah, I think that is I can't breathe. Okay, you're fine. You're talking. I'm good. I've got him. This car right there. Yeah, that's fine. Ow, my wrist! God damn it, man! Please! Hey, did we search him real good? Fuck. Um, I did not. So, as far as searching him, we got 
another let's, probe hanging look, looks like. Let's let's pull him out and search him real good. He let's let him calm down for just a sec. Yeah, and we'll I just out. dropped the probes on the ground. Which, yeah, there was probes down there. related to him? This car right here. What do you have? Dope? No, we got everybody in custody. This be some Mark got, got fucking hit. In, I don't know what he was what he was stuffing. Got Mark got hit in the face by her. She fucking swung something and knocked Where's him out. Mark at? I don't know. I think they Mark got him out of here. Mark's there. over here with LPD. There are other um, angles too. There was this. Uh, the upper angle here was the one that they. This is the one here that they sort of put out at first, where they show that there's some kind of a struggle between the two, and then the officer pulls his gun, and then they uh, taser the dude, and the wife there gets out of the car, and I mean there was th this is the angle that they showed, which shows the guy look like he's a combative suspect, but he's not. He was just some guy who was sitting in his car with his kids you know, doing absolutely nothing. And then he, the cops come up, rip him out of his car. I mean, his son had to come and take the seatbelt off of his legs there. You saw that in the video. And the guy starts tasing his freaking nutsack. I mean, if these white cops were pulling some black guy out of his car like that and then started tasering, pulling his pants down and tasering his fucking balls, I mean, there would be national news coverage on every news channel everywhere you could ever ever see it. I mean it would it would be all over the place. Yeah. So he was already laying on the ground. He had been tasered ten times by the officer. The officer's name is Matt Schneider. Yeah, he was already lying down on the hot asphalt. He had already been tased ten times with one officer kneeling on his back and Officer Matt Schneider kicking him in the groin and pulling down his athletic shorts to tase him a final time in his testicles. I mean... <laughs> What the fuck? You know, pulling down someone's pants in order to tase them in the balls. I mean, and not only that, like, the video clearly shows the fact that the kid is, is begging the other officer not to take his mother out of the car, and then the guy decides right in front of his little son, his, uh, his one son was six and the other was eleven, the eleven-year-old is the one who's, who's talking to his mother, and he, uh, He's begging him to stop doing that, and then he starts tasing the guy's balls right in front of his fucking son. Like, pulling his pants down in front of his son. Well, the officer who did that, he was only suspended for, uh, uh, suspended for 30 hours, and he remained an active officer today. You know, like, he, uh, records show that he gave a traffic ticket not a few days ago, so... There is an FBI investigation now. There's a bunch of people who, who heard about the case. There was the, the mayor of the city of Glendale who came forward saying he didn't enjoy, you know, anything that happened. And, and there was this long letter I have here, and I can, I can post a picture of it. I can... Yeah, I'll just post it here, and then you can see it. I guess pause it, I can't like, you know, I don't want to make the video too long to make someone read through all of that, so just pause it and you'll be able to read through the letter, but, you know, there was uh, also just that were very upset by what happened and, you know, there, a lot of people who looked at this case said it was the most cruel and troubling cases of police misconduct that they've ever seen, but nobody saw it on the news. Not one person really reported on it. There was no real talk about it. There was no real anything. I mean, it was, 
if these people happen to be black people and they were they happen to be treated this way by cops every news organization in the entire world would have heard about this and and this Matt Schneider guy certainly would not be having his job anymore and he would have been on administrative leave or whatever the fuck they call it for a whole lot longer than 30 hours I mean what the hell is 30 hours besides go home and and, and take a shift off you know and that's pretty much all that happened to him for tasing a guy's fucking balls in front of his son I mean I don't understand how that happens to begin with we and then he keeps his job I mean <laughs> there's a bunch of names and people that also saw this case former LAPD detective supervisor TT Williams he was shocked by what he saw and this is someone who used to be a detective supervisor I mean these are people who used to be cops who are surprised that this piece of shit still has his badge he has the ability to go out and to be a police officer and to maybe you know shock some guy who has a heart condition next time and then he dies because of the electric shocks and then oops well I guess I needed to because of whatever bullshit answer I want to give anyways I have his his report from the um from the hospital which I'm gonna also place on the on my video just to show you that on one end he says that he he noticed him suspiciously backing up and then later on yeah they said officers Mark Schneider and Mark Lindsay approached the car for an alleged turn signal violation but when he goes in the hospital I believe he tells people that he um, he approached them because they were backing up suspiciously. What happened? <laughs> uh, we were pulling into the Motel 6 parking lot from the north uh, through the main area. We saw a vehicle pull in. They made contact or saw us and did an immediate reverse and backed up into a spot. Um, so their suspicious activity prompted us to go out and at least start to have a conversation with them. I have to wonder what the hell is backing up suspiciously you know do you, do, you, do you are you are you backing up you know while, while while giving people this look or something I mean like what the hell are you are you doing you know how are you backing up suspiciously but then in this report here it says that he approached the car for an alleged turn signal violation it was all bullshit from the very beginning I mean this guy he he set out wanting to hurt someone because some people are just pieces of shit no matter where they're from and he found a guy that he thought was a good victim and maybe because he's stupid forgot the fact that he's being taped so who the hell knows but I mean this this was just you know it was something that I saw that there was no way that I could not report on it and I mean it's it's I posted the entire 45 minute video it's the last video I have up it's it's a bunch of cops just just being douchebags you know somebody who the the senator guy who for Glendale or, or whatever he he said it was a whitewashed situation but I mean it's not whitewashed it's cop washed there's a difference I mean there's there's cops that are just willing to to protect other cops no matter what and if it wasn't for those videos I mean both of those people would be in jail right now for aggravated assault of a police officer which didn't actually happen I mean I watched the entire video I don't know you saw the video of him in the hospital and all these other stupid shit things I mean I hope this story gets at least a little more viral than it is now I mean this guy deserves you know some justification some payback for what happened and these cops just because I mean one of the cops uh, the Schneider guy is a cop that is on the TV show cops all the time when he's going through Glendale he's one of the people that the cops TV show talk to police brutality of any kind can't go on I mean but it's not white cops going after black people it's it's douchebag cops going after whoever they feel like putting their anger on it's 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 that it's not a racial issue there's no I mean I've seen black cops be 
beating the fucking shit out of other black guys. I mean, the guy with the broken leg. I mean, some people might know the video I'm talking about, when the other black cop is just beating the shit out of the other leg. I mean, the guy's screaming in pain, but he just doesn't care. I mean, it's... It's not a white or black thing. It's a cop thing. Cops... Not all cops, but it's... it's douchebag cops. It's people who have issues with power, issues with people, issues with their own psyche, issues with, you know, the fact that they probably only squeeze by their psychological evaluations, if they even have them anymore. <sighs> New stories like this, which are blatant and unbelievably torturous things that happen to people at the hands of cops, just because they happen to white people doesn't mean that it shouldn't be said something about it. I mean, this is... <laughs> this is beyond disgusting behavior. If you like what I said, please give me a thumbs up. If you don't like what I said, well, I don't care. Because if you don't like what I said, then you enjoy the fact that some guy just got his fucking balls taken. So, up yours. But anyways, give me a like. Thanks.